Y'all know this is a game that I've been waiting for for a really long time. Um, when this game first came out on the schedule, when it was announced that the Ravens would play the Dolphins, even though we knew that after the season ended, um, I was just wondering, is this going to be a home game or an away game for the Ravens? And I should have really been asking the question, is this going to be a home game or an away game for the Dolphins? Uh, because the Ravens on their schedule this year, they have 10 home games and seven away games. And NFL, it, it, it is not fair. It's not fair, but trust me, I'm not complaining. Because this, this game right here, this is a home game for the Florida Ravens. And it should be a lot of fun. Um, team, keep it clean. Uh, we, we in Section 118 tonight. We in Section 118, so if y'all want to come through, say what's up to the vlog, you're more than welcome. Uh, as far as tailgating, not sure what's going to go down with that because um, it should, it's supposed to be raining. Now, hopefully, the forecast ends up being wrong. But it's supposed to be raining tonight, like, throughout the entirety of the game. Uh, but again, hopefully that ends up being completely wrong and it's just a nice, perfect weather under the lights, prime time, and it's good to go. Uh, but anyway, as far as tailgating, if you got any suggestions, if you got anything that you're doing, just let, let me know. Send me a DM on like Twitter or Instagram or something like that. And if you don't have either one of the two, you can hit, just send me an email or something. Um, but let me know because I'm, I'm not sure what we're doing for tailgating yet, but we do plan on trying to get there uh, early. So as far as the game uh, this is, it feels like every game is like a big game for the Ravens. And even though the Dolphins are like, I think, two and seven, something like that, this is a trap game, and the Ravens cannot fall for the trap. They can't. They cannot fall for the trap. And under Lamar Jackson, the Ravens have done a, a pretty good job of avoiding walking into the traps. Um, so do have confidence in them there. Now, um, one thing that the Ravens need to do, they got to get off to a, 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 a fast start. Those slow starts that they've been having, mm -mm, not tonight, not tonight, because it's just it's so much pressure on the Dolphins, um, because if they even want to think about being in contention, they have to pretty much the rest of the season has to go perfectly for them. Now, while we don't expect that to happen, and I'm sure they don't expect that to happen, and we don't say that in a disrespectful way. The Dolphins, if they want to be in the thick of things toward the end of the season, I mean, they got a lot of a lot of games left. They got, what, 10 games left, something like that. So we'll, we'll see what happens. But um, Ravens can't get off to a slow start because if you get, off to, you get off to a slow start, you're going to give this team confidence. And that's the last thing that you want to give a bad team, confidence. And Ravens, that's why they need to start off fast and they need to finish fast. They need to score often and early and it needs to be touchdowns now one thing with Lamar Jackson in this game and this is going to be the first time he has something that he hasn't had all year long and that is every single one of his wide receivers Sammy Watkins he should be back Hollywood he should be good with his back and then you got Rashad Bateman aka the man that's a bat tried to like throwing a little ball here but Bateman Batman y'all anyway he should have all those guys. And then, of course, you got Mark Andrews. You got Devin DuVernay. You got, you got the whole gang tonight as far as your pass catchers. So this it should be – Lamar should have his options. He should have his options. It's so important in this game for Lamar, I think, to I, – I, the Ravens to, to have an underneath passing game because that's something that they just really haven't had consistently all year. We talked about this uh, after the last game. With the Ravens, it seems like they are – an all or nothing type of passing game where they go for the either the intermediate shot or the deep shot, but underneath it's like, oh no, I ain't worried about that. And that's on Lamar. That's on G Row too. That's on both of them to, to make sure they have some underneath options. Uh with um with the running game, this will be a nice game to just keep it going. Keep it going. Devontae Freeman, let him get a hot hand. Le'Veon Bell, let that guy just continue getting more and more comfortable in this system. Both of those guys, let him continue getting comfortable. With Tyson Williams, I would love it. Even though, even if this was the case, they probably still wouldn't give him the ball. But I would love it if Tyson Williams got a bunch of carries in the fourth quarter. Because that would mean that the Ravens, they blew this thing out the water. But... With these Ravens, these 2021 Ravens, it's like this would be a game where you would expect that, right? Going against these Dolphins with a bad record, they only got two wins. And Ravens, even though they've been struggling, they got a lot of injuries, and they've been having a lot of close, crazy games, they're 6-2. and two. So you, you would think, like, all right, 
man, these these Ravens, they about to blow these boys out. They about to blow these boys out, man. Come on now. And then they end up having a nail bite or something like that. So I don't even know what to expect tonight from these Ravens. I mean, you don't even know what to expect tonight from these Ravens because Ravens just, again, they do the unexpected. But like I said, it's important that they, they start off hot right away. Try to get into a rhythm early on and not wait until the second quarter. To, well, not wait until the second half to pick things up. Again, because these Dolphins, right now, they don't... Uh, they, while they do technically have something to play for because the season's not over, they know, like, again, the expectations are low. If they lose, then it'll be like, okay, we, we lost another game. What did you expect? So, and, and, and especially with everybody expecting them to lose. We do not want a, a, a Jaguars-Bills type of situation, and we don't need that. We don't want a Giants and Raiders type of situation, and we don't need that. We, we, we've seen so much craziness happen over the course of this season and really just over the course of this last week. We don't need a, a Jets and Bengals situation to happen. So that's why it's important that you bring your A game every game and in this game, it, would it be in a primetime matchup? That's when your stars shine the brightest in primetime. So it's time for playmakers to make plays. And oof, <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. I, this, is, this is actually, well, not been to a night game before. Well, that was the, the Titans and Ravens playoff game on Saturday night, and that didn't go so well. But anyway. Um, this will be my first Thursday night game, and man, it's, it's so like it, it's. I saw so many like Ravens fans that are flying down for this game, like so many, so many, and I'm like, okay, hey, y'all come through, come through. I, I'm with it. I, I love them. Like, okay, coming from Atlanta, coming from of course, coming from Maryland, coming from BWI, flying in from BWI and whatnot. Uh, some coming from London, coming from overseas and what like it's like it's it's crazy. Like Ravens fans are I know Ravens fans travel. I know they do. But when it comes to them traveling to Miami, it's like they just seem like it's on a whole nother level. Cause I know everybody always looking for an excuse to come down to Miami. Like who who don't wanna come down to Florida? Who don't wanna come down to Florida? So I ain't mad at y'all at all. Now let's let's talk about the defense. Defense. Um it's Scheduled. It, uh, the forecast is calling for rain. Again, hopefully the forecast is wrong, but the forecast is calling for rain. Um, so if if it's raining, then that makes players slippery and tackling. It, it makes it that much harder. So it's very, very important that in this game, the Ravens, they wrap up because, again, you don't want to give a bad team good confidence because if they run the ball on you. Say, for instance, they run it. It's like a three-yard game. You stop them after three yards. But if you don't make that tackle, they slip through your hands and they, you don't make the tackle, that three-yard game could turn into eight or nine or even 20. And, and that's just something that you can't afford. You can't. And this is why it's important to tackle early and often because if you do that and your offense scores on top of that, you start dictating the way that the game goes. You start controlling the way that the game goes. And, and you just really, you have the game in your hand. And you get to call the shots. And that's exactly what we want the Ravens to do tonight. We want them to be able to call the shots. We want them to be able to control the way that this game goes. We want them to be like, all right, we want to run this play. So let's run. All right, we want to pass this play. So let's pass. All right, you know what? Dolphins, they down big, so they got to try to pass to come back. All right, pass rushers, go eat. You know what? Yeah, yeah, we'll send a little extra rusher to on this play. And, I mean, you know, we ain't going to do that regardless. But they, I just I want them to be able to do that. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, with the blitz, whether it's Jacoby Brissett, whether it's Tua, um, just with the blitz, just blitz in a smart way. Um, we know Wink is obviously a very smart person. He's a defensive coordinator. I mean, you, if you're coaching the NFL league, you you got to be smart. Like you you got no choice but to be. Um, but let's uh, let's just recognize. I I just want him to recognize if if a guy is struggling, and they don't they're not gonna have Devontae Parker. They're not gonna have Will Fuller. 
Uh, I'm not sure if they're um I'm not I don't know what's going on with Preston Williams. I don't I don't know if he's playing or not, but they are down. They're top guys. They still got Jalen Waddle though. So them safeties better be ready. Cause you know, again, Dolphins, they're gonna try it. They're gonna try it because they got nothing to lose. So they're gonna try it. I expect. Like, look at the Vikings last week. Remember, they, they went forward on they, they they did the fake punt. They did um right before halftime, they did the fake kneel. And that's a three and four team. They were three and four. Now you're going up against a team that what they what are they? I think they two and five. I think I said two and seven earlier. I think they two and five. They two and something. Whatever their record is, they only won two games and they lost the rest of them. Even though they had some close ones. So it ain't like they've been just getting dog walked. No, they they've been in a lot of their games. But it's 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 just important that uh, cause like I said, they're gonna bring it. Like again. The Vikings three and four. They were trying all type of crazy stuff. Imagine what a team with only two wins would do. Just imagine. Like and and then with the world watching, again with the world watching, low expectations. Hey, Dolphins probably telling each other, hey, let's go put it all out there. Put it all out there. We don't care about the outcome. Whatever happens, happens. But let's put it all out there. Let, let's take it to these Ravens. Win, lose or draw, we are gonna bring it to them. And because you know they want to, you know they want to. So it's very important that the Ravens again they do not fall for the trap. Don't fall for the bait, be on point, wrap up, catch the ball, run effectively. Just get it, man. Get after it. So this should be a really fun game. Again, I expect the Ravens fans to be extra loud like they always are. Y'all already know what time it is. I do not expect to have my voice um, when I talk to y'all tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But again, if you want to follow along, uh, see what's going on. You can follow on uh, Instagram. Should we be posting plenty of stories tonight? Uh, should be a fun one. And again, like I said, we in section 118 with it. So if you want to come through, like I said, say what's up to the vlog. Say what's up to Instagram or something. Come through. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Looking forward to seeing everybody tonight. And like I said earlier, if you got any ideas as far as tailgating and whatnot, what you're going to be doing, if you got some good ideas for it, let me know. Just send me a DM on Instagram or Twitter. And if you don't have either one of the two, you can send me an email. I love y'all. See you tonight. We out.